When you think about creatures under the sea, they usually fall into two categories. There are the cool ones, like dolphins, and there are the scary ones, like sharks. But there's also a third category, the creepy ones. You know the ones I'm talking about? Eels. Yes? Eels. Some are electric, some have big teeth, but all are like huge swimming snakefish, cutting through the water with a wiggle instead of a swoosh of a tail fan. <sighs> Now robots are getting the creepy feel by walking then swimming like a creepy eel. Here's Adam Yamaguchi to explain. <laughs> robots were created to do the dangerous, repetitive, and unglamorous jobs that need to get done but aren't so great for humans. And most bots were designed to perform one specific task. But an English inventor working for the U.S. Navy built a multi-purpose amphibious robot that uses locomotion to crawl out of the ocean. The swimming walking robot is a unique robotic platform that we have developed that can do things that no other robotic platform can do. Our platform can go into multiple domains, land, ice, underwater, and on the surface of the water. I made the trip to Brooklyn, New York, to meet Pietro Filardo and learn more about the robots with wave-shaped fins he's developing. The undulating fin, which people have tried in the past to make it useful, we've cracked the secret as to how to make it an effective fluid propulsion energy harnessing system. Wow, no offense, but your, your words don't really do this justice. Now it's starting to make a little bit more sense. So this is the, the fin. These are the undulating fins, one either side in this case, yeah? It can raise its fins up, it can lower them down. And, and regardless of what environment it's in, whether it's aquatic or on land, this is what moves this forward. That's right. It's the traveling wave passing through these flexible fins uh -huh. is where all the magic is. The robot has embedded sensors and cameras to collect data, and in future iterations, to help it operate autonomously. Can you tell me a little bit more about the undulating fin? I mean, this is, the, this is really the secret sauce you have here. When a fin is not attached to a robot, it's just a, a flat sheet, something similar to this. The shape that you see when it's configured into a robot is packed with elastic energy. And when you lock that shape in place, you lock in the trapped elastic energy. And then you can redistribute that elastic energy through the fin. How do you adapt the robot to different terrains and environments? In a typical swimming environment, the fins are coming out the side and there are traveling waves passing along the fin in this direction that makes the robot move in that direction. To move on to land, the fins tilt down. And now the, the, the traveling wave on land is moving in the opposite direction that it is when it's swimming. When it's ice skating, it puts the fins all the way down, so it's standing on the edge of its fins. Practical applications for the robots include deep sea mining, Arctic monitoring, and critical pipe inspections like sewer lines, a job no human wants to do. Can we uh, turn it on and see it do its Absolutely. thing? Absolutely. I'd love to give you a quick demo. With a few taps on the computer, Pietro sets the fins in motion. They're mesmerizing to watch. But when you see it do this, who's up for robot hockey? 